Hey guys, am I recording? I hope I am. And uh, welcome to Minecraft. Welcome to a showcase of a mod called Scape and Run Parasites. <coughs> so I'm sick. And as I said in my Jurassic World the live video that will probably come out after this one, I would imagine. Uh, I said that I was really sick and I didn't feel good for a lot uh, for a long time. So um, basically, it it ain't cool. I could not uh, well record and stuff like that. Lowering graphics just in case, and I could not record and much do much stuff. So yeah, sorry, but that's how it it goes. So. Today I'm going to be showcasing this mod, of course. This is the Knight's Edge. This is from my mod. I have two mods, which is t rex This mod, Armors and Tools. And Better Experience, which is also my mod. I've been playing around making mods for a while now. But, um... This sword is just gonna... I'm gonna use it to, you know, kill stuff when I need to. So... Well, let's go and check Scape and Run Parasites. So first we have uh, the Raptor, which is the, the this guy. He evolves from the Buglin, which is this dude. Over time this will evolve into this son of a bitch. And he is a pain in the ass. So you basically, if alone, won't, you won't do anything. But if there's two or more of them, they will start infecting shit. Such as this pig. Look, they start. Oh, wait, I have to turn off my particles. Look, they start. Yeah, look at this. They're put, placing down. Oh, doing stuff to the pig. The other particles, basically. And this uh, gives you the effect Call of the Hive. So when this. Yeah, basically. When this is affected by Call of the Hive. For this example is the pig. It will, depending on the phase, which. Uh, this is how you check the phase. Depending on the phase or on the number of parasites around it, it will turn into an incomplete form, which you just saw, or an assimilated pig, which is this. <coughs> this thing, yeah, it's very foul. It is, how do I say it? it it's not friendly at all. <coughs> yeah, yeah, look at this dude. This goes for a lot of animals and things in general. This thing, uh, it's not a, it's not a mutated spider. You might think it is. It's not. It's it's a it's a, comp it's a complete di different thing, sadly. And uh, there's yeah. like this, 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 and this, and there's way, way more than yeah. So this is the bear. Yeah. <laughs> if it were to be hit by these guys. Also, if if uh, the world is at stage three, uh, on, or no stage two, it will uh, start. Actually, Rupters will attack things and infect them instead of only dropping this call of the hive. We also have the zombie or the human. We have the zombie. The angry bird is the OP. It's it's broken. It it has 55 HP. Second, it does a lot of damage. And third, it uh, teleports other parasites to you. That's right. And it's not cool at all. So, the cow. The cow has a special ability, which is to charge towards you, towards you and to do a deal like that. There's the sheep. It's very ugly. It's one of the ugliest, the assimilated family. And uh, next we have, well, we have more assimilated villagers. Villager, adventurer, horse. Yes. And the ender dragon. So, villager, well, a villager. Assimilated villager. Adventure is you. Yeah, this is my name in Minecraft, by the way. It's not too right. That was my old name. I'm not gonna bother changing it. This. Yes. That's you. If you get killed by a corruptor, let's say, or a parasite, you'll get turned into this. No, actually, if you get killed by a parasite, and you have color of the hive, which you can get through, 
then you will turn into this thing. And it, it will also wear your armor, so if you die with armor, you're gonna have it on. And also, there's force, which has a lot of health, is a lot of, it's really fast. And uh, has an explosion attack that, well, I would like to show you, but like, it's gonna take too long. And then we have the Ender Dragon, so how do you get this? It's not by affected, infecting the Ender Dragon, no. Uh, there's a thing called biomes in this game, the parasite biome, which when reaching stage 7 or 8, I'm pretty sure, has a chance of spawning the dragon. And now this is the end of the dragon. It is very big. OP. It's strong, obviously. It's an end of the dragon. And yeah, that's what you would want to expect from it. It's a weird thing to look at. Uh, also, it has a head. I think Ender Dragon, no, actually. Ender. And also, I'm going to bring out this. So, th there's the head. That's it. And if it merges with this, oh, no, actually, no. It won't work. They have to add a big assembly complete form. And that has to wait. Uh, but. Let's see other heads. Any any other head doesn't matter which one. But let's say pores, for example. Any head combined. Like if you have this thing, it's like uh, it, it's useless. It cannot do anything. It cannot evolve. It can't do shit. And the only way to get heads is by killing something. And if there's an incomplete form nearby, it's gonna basically chase it. Take the incomplete form and combine to create a full monster, a parasite. And that happens with any everyone except for the, for the Ender Dragon. And I would imagine that this would be able to re, re well rearrange it with other. Ah, it's going to be able to combine with something else. We have uh, incomplete. Oh wait, I got it. Okay, incomplete form small, which is this. This is from Baby Dino. Dinosaurs, I was gonna say. Uh, from baby mobs and from well yeah baby mobs and chickens and rabbits and stuff like that and this is from things that just couldn't evolve into their assimilator form. This thing I'm not sure if it can actually combine with a head. I don't think it can. Yeah it can't. It's probably meant for like Assimilated chicken, assimilated rabbit, assimilated silverfish, and stuff like that that they're gonna add in the future. And maybe it's their heads are gonna combine with this. Or if they're all health, they're gonna combine with it to make something a little bit bigger or just heal up. I don't know something like that maybe would be the case. So that's all about the assimilated. Now let's get my iron sword and my knight's edge. Yeah, by the way, these are this is kind of a terrarium mod I'm making. Kind of a little bit took uh, some ideas from there, but it's. It's fine, I guess. I hope it's fine, you know. <laughs> I hope you, you're fine with it. The Night Sage doesn't look like that. I made it up. But the Excalibur does look like what it looks in Terraria. But uh, I'm going to make showcase with my mod. There's some other my mods, some other video. This is for Parasite. So, next thing we have the primitives. So, how does a primitive appear? Well, <clears throat> when I think four or five parasites we don't count raptors <clears throat> when four or five of these guys uh, get about three or four kills on anything just, just kill stuff and get kills they will combust they will um, turn into break down to flesh basically it's gonna turn they're gonna turn into I'm just gonna show you moving flesh this thing we're going to turn to this. Basically, we have four, four of these. They're actually going to combine together. Like that. This is going to merge. Become a big thing. It's going to wait. And now it's going to become... What does it need? No. It's going to become a primitive. And in this case, in this case it's a reeker. Which is really we don't like this. Okay. So... There's the primitive summoner. Uh, they have also different variants with this bleed. The summoner basically well summons stuff. If I go into game mode zero, it's gonna instantly start chasing me. 
and uh, it's not friendly I'm gonna tell you that for sure it's fast very fucking fast oh yeah and it also does this yeah I forgot to tell you wait in mode one so uh kill this thing so basically when a parasite's killed that is for any it drops these things on the ground right so if I kill this guy it's gonna drop things and this is the main part, the nodule. And this nodule, if there's a summoner nearby, it's gonna activate the nodule. And it's gonna revive the parasite. Again. And in a little bit, it's gonna turn into the Reeker it once was. It's gonna revive it, basically. It's just any second now. Yep, there it is. And I'm gonna kill these guys. It also they adapt to damage, of course. Adapt to damage, so different types of weapons or just different weapons in general will do more damage than if you if you have like three different swords or axes. You should. It's better. It's better to have like three different, not so strong weapons than to have one really strong because it's eventually gonna adapt to it and it's gonna do no damage. Good thing is I have fire on this thing. This thing applies fire, so fire is the weakness of these parasites basically. And fire makes their adapting ability slower, basically, or not even work. So there's the long arms. This guy, not much about him. Tall dude, swings and does a lot of damage. Is a lot, also a lot faster than most parasites. And as you can see, it's adapting. It's taking less and less damage, but the fire is not. Uh, it, the fire is preventing it from fully adapting. There's the weaker. Saw this guy already. Uh, he applies poison really fast. He's like. Basically, the most annoying thing it is. I hate it. Magicator, this guy has the ability to become invincible and is very fucking fast. So, yeah, you see, it's fast. Um, yellow eye is the flying one. It spits balls of poison and poisons you from the air. This is the bolster, which is an amalgamation of flesh, and it's basically. It, uh, it boosts other parasites, it gives them passive effects. This is the devourer, I gotta show you this, because it's a water parasite. I don't think, oh god, the, the, okay, that's a lot gonna lag, I'm sorry. And, um, this guy basically, I don't think if he can, I'm pretty sure it, he cannot exist still. Like, he's in the game, but he cannot uh, be merged from other parasites, because... Other, other parasite cannot merge into it. I don't know why. Maybe because just it has it doesn't have a pri um, not a primitive uh, an adapted form, which is upgraded. The upgrade of these guys. It doesn't have an adapted form, but it's really strong. And I'm imagining that probably it is going to merge from parasites near water, or maybe when they add infected squid, then basically yes, infected squid would be the ones to merge into this and maybe also guardians i don't know but they're kind of rare so who really cares uh now we have the arachnida which is the spider it has the ability to pu pull you with string basically this and it's gonna kill me <laughs> it just killed me well i forgot these things are so strong well that was all the primitives and um, night's edge that's not how it so how you type knight. Okay, now we go on to the adapted ones. There are the adapted versions of these guys. And as you see, there's no devourer. Um, here we go with the long arms. This is, they basically, these things become adapted when they get a certain amount of kills. And they just evolve. And uh, our lightning is going to strike down when they evolve. This is the adapted long arms. This thing does an incredible amount of damage and they also break blocks anything weaker than iron blocks I think or was it obsidian anything weaker than that they also have this ability which is basically to turn food uh, into infected flesh which is not edible I mean like if you have steak it turns into infected flesh and not only that but also it gives call of the hive to anything nearby I'm pretty sure. Adapted Summoner is the same. They're really the same, just stronger. Recurve, this is the most. Uh, I hate this thing. 
it's stronger than any other parasite. It is just too, too strong. It also drops these tentacles. Of course it does. Uh, Magicator, just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying and can go invisible. It's even faster. Yellow Eye has a ribcage. It looks like something that's not complete yet. Like it's, it's, like it, it's gonna have an even bigger form. Cause it's forming a body but it still hasn't form an, formed a full body. There's the bolster. Terrifying also. Yeah. There's the arachnida which is just a bigger spider. That's I'm not gonna cover these carrier stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you, of course, the background. So, this is what makes the biomes. This thing is basically just a plant that appears at a certain stage of the game. At a certain stage of the game, this thing can spawn just normally. So, this thing is the Becker stage 1, you saw it. Stage 2, uh, it's not supposed to take damage. It, it, when it's naturally fall, it's not going to take damage. It's just it's spawning it. Then it does this. And then you kill it, you drop the top of these things. Look, it starts starting affecting the ground. And these things just get called the hive. Stage 3 is a tough one to kill. It's hard to kill. Oh, yeah, this is also the phases to They're really creepy. Look, as you can see, it doesn't take damage now. Because it's adapted. It's just... It's adapted. And there's the stage 4. That's... That thing, when it gets to stage 4. I don't know what that is. Uh, when it gets to stage 4, it's like a boss, even. When it gets to stage 4, it basically... Uh, it's biome and spawns other... Actually, so I'm gonna kill everything. It's starting to lag. Weird, why is the game like that? Very weird. What? What's happening? Well, let me just rejoin. So that's all of these, basically. Is it still recording? Uh, it's all good, yep. It's... Okay, yeah, we're good with the recording. Let's just do it again. That's my f uh, servers. And uh, Parasite Showcase, this is it. Okay. Well, video's getting long, but you're probably used to it, right? Oh, what's wrong with it? Well, I just kill him again. No. What's wrong? What? What is this? Okay, I can hit stuff, but I'm not dead. Is it, why? Am I like that? Well, the world's fucked up. Uh, this is gonna be the rest of the video, like that, I guess. <laughs> God, it's awful. Well, next one. Uh, these things. Sizer, Kyphosis. Yeah, Sai. Yep. And uh, also, where it is? Where is it? Century. Century. There it is. So, well, this basically um, is. It slaps you. It slaps. That's what it does. It just slaps from close range. This pulls you towards it. It just holds you in one place. Doesn't do any damage. This shoots you with just the same projectiles as the yellow light, but not only does it shoot you with them, but they also break armor. And by that I mean one third of your durability almost a shot, and it spams them. So yeah, that's about these guys. Uh, can I like just no I can't I don't know how it works this thing with the just enough items um, dispatcher yes dispatchers exactly I, let's show you these guys too these are basically other another plant um, so dispatcher stage one it spawns these sizer things I can't pick things up it's glitched it spawns the sizer things and there's just uh, stage two can spawn I think ruptures and also sizes again. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it die. Uh, this can spawn now assimilated things. I'm pretty sure, and more sizers and yeah, that's it. and this one can spawn bombs. 
of Call of the Hive and a bunch more things. I just forgot what they were. But these are big plants. They're ugly as hell. And yes. Now, what else do we have? Oh, the ancients? No, these are the pure ones, right? No. Where's the warden? Oh, I saw it. Well, basically, we need the overs. Wait, what am, I, what am I doing? This I can just go here. Yeah, I just do this. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Hey guys, uh, I had to stop for a second. Uh, yeah, you probably heard the knocking on the door. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh good, and uh, I accidentally stopped the video, so now I'm gonna have to edit it, and I'm gonna have to find a whole ass editor for that. I mean, not a person, I mean a, a program to edit with. Oh, yeah, a uh, bunch more work, whatever. Here's the... These are called pure parasites, and the, the game's still glitched, yes. Uh, these are called pure parasites, so... We have the... Over here. They have changed this. It was completely different before. Not so cool. Before it was way cooler. Oh yeah, oh, this is the overseer. Just show you that. This is the warden. He's pretty cool. He has a lot of attacks. He can jump and hit you. I'm gonna show you now. This Archeum, pure Archeum. This is basically from. Um, my mod and it's a very good armor so you equip it on as that's dark cube so now you go game mode zero and it's gonna attack you wait what how do i oh because of viral gen no let's not call that gold map i'll just you know take a stack of those <coughs> oh yeah because of the viral i can't eat it because of the this damn thing. <laughs> it's adapted, but it just can't help to fire, fight the fire. So, I uh, does the warden apply viral? Uh, he does not. So he's gonna wait for this to wear off. Just any second now. Right, where did all my things go? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna just take them uh, out. Alright, so my bomber, marauder, whatever, marauder, grunt, and that's so it. Off, off of that, so now I go game mode zero, I eat my apples. Oh, it's because I'm of the glitch. Well, basically, I just spawn like, say, an enderman. No. Oh, you a husk. Let's say a husk. Okay, a husk. It's gonna die. So this thing's gonna start chasing it, kill it, but I have to show you the charge attack, so if it's very far away, it's not gonna spawn it. Okay, let's it's, it's, it's just gonna, yep, look at it. It's charging, yep. And it charged up, killed it. It's here. It's gonna be charge up and rush it. It's pretty cool. And here it will jump. So I'm gonna jump. Uh, it, it, this thing also jumps very high, but I guess not now. So it's gonna just have to die. Also, this sword is so strong at um, low ender. This is like the biggest pain in the whole game. It's the Enderman. I hate it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Where is it? This is it. Send the dragon ender men I want. So basically this is just one shot it. And I'm pretty sure Excalibur completely one shots it. Oh, sorry, yep. uh, that's just this mod was made for parasites. At the time I was playing parasites, I was like, we need stronger weapons with my friends. And I was like, okay, we need better weapons, so I'm gonna just make a mod real quick and we're gonna add it. It took me like a few weeks. We stopped playing, then I go play with my cousin. I, we use the mod, then I update the mod, I play with other friends again, and the mod had already a lot of updates, so it's pretty good, and it still is. So I hope you like the mod. So this is a light bomber. 
If I give him a husk, he's going to start shooting bombs at it. As you would imagine. And also spawns the Caesars. I don't know why they die though. What's supposed to happen, but well, I guess it does. Uh, there's the Monarch, which is what this thing is. It's foul. It's, it, it kills. It, it's really strong. We have the Grunt, which is basically just a smaller Warden. Or... A seizure with head with uh, a seizure with legs, I guess, kind of. You could call it that. So yeah, uh, that's about this. These guys, the pure parasites. So now we go in onto heavy bomber. These things are again annoying. There's the boggle. Oh, this is also actually annoying. Uh, that was a different class. Um, so both of these, gla like, let me just show you. These guys, these, and these are both all pure parasites. I just didn't say them right. So yeah, these were parasites, uh, now pure parasites. Now this thing spawns sucrose, which break the land. And this itself breaks the land. It's very strong, but it's hard to cure. I mean, it's hard to spawn because you need the biome for it. Um, now we have the heavy bomber, which is bigger, evolved better bomber, which you would imagine <laughs> does the same thing. And it absolutely does the same thing. It just spawns these guys, which explode, and well, upon death, they do these. And it also affects anything that gets killed by it. So it's it's way better than the actual bomber. And this it just hits it. Nothing special. Uh, colony carrier. This, when dying, uh, drops a colony. As you would imagine. Why does it not die to fire? This is my question. Well, actually, why does it not die to fire? That's weird. It just it's not dying to fire. Then collapse it. What? It should die to fire. Hey, what? Oh yeah, it also gives you achievements for these. Yeah, maybe achievements. I'm gonna show you. But not. I'm gonna show you now. But I'm gonna make a full showcase for my land. Yeah, there it is. And oh no, it, oh yeah, when it walks, it makes the colony. Yeah, it just spawns it. When it dies, it doesn't. It would make sense to spawn a colony when dying, but upon death. But it, I guess not. Um, I'm gonna show you the advancements real quick. There's pure salt. That's basically all of them. There were more. What happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, I just haven't unlocked them. So basically, you need this one. No, that's a, a, a different thing. And now you unlock more. And when you unlock this, you get another one, another one, and just like that. You get all of them. Uh, there's a bunch of. Well. A bunch of things you can unlock. Achievements, yes. Right, Wraith Raptor. Oh, Basically, a bigger bottle. Cannot break blocks. I don't know, maybe it can, but it's not. The bottle is made to break blocks. This is not. It's gonna break the case. And the Haunter is. This thing. It's another pure parasite. All of these are pure parasites. And yeah, that's about these guys. And. Now into the oh no actually yeah there was the yeah okay so there's the ancient these are the these are ancient parasites this is these are basically the bosses so ancient overlord is this guy very strong and big and this is the dreadnought which is worse the, the stronger boggle basically it breaks blocks. It's stronger than the Overseer, this is the better one. This is basically a flying Overseer and it can shoot, it can spit. And it also applies Wither upon that. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit what it does. You just don't let it target me. Right? Oh, wait, it's not gonna target me, is it? Because I'm considered dead, right? Isn't that right? Yeah, it's not gonna. But, uh, let's just give him a hug. Uh, it's too... Uh, Oh, oh, it's gonna spawn another one with a fire buff. So look, it's gonna start shooting at them, spitting these things that apply wither and color the hive. And well, 
also starts farming bombs to these guys and does a lot of damage. And then the second so they need to have to follow the hive so that when it kills them, then they're gonna infect. But they don't seem to do it. I don't know why. They don't infect why that is affecting but well I guess not and I think that's all about parasite yep oh yeah that's so that also that's a pod those are these this also uh the dispatcher stage four is part of them show that and a bunch of other things are these pods so they just have to be ready oops they both inside they explode and spawn if there's anything nearby if there's not, they just spawn, color the hive and poison. Uh, and that's it, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this half buggy video. Because, uh, well, it, the world bugged, I'm gonna delete it anyway. Uh, thank you so much, all so much for watching, and uh, next video is probably gonna be Dress for the Life, and then showcase of my one of my mods. I have two, so maybe Tier X armor, Armors and Tools first, and then better experience. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.